All right, so I just wanted to show that clip for all the people out there that are saying Terry got shut down by Trayvon Diggs. Again, he did a good job. He did a good job. I'm not taking no credit away from Trayvon Diggs. I'm not here making excuses, but I am showing the facts and showing the proof that if Terry McLaurin had a capable quarterback that can give him the ball on a consistent basis, then you would see how good this man really is. But that's not what this video is about. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington football team video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here to talk about a couple of signings that Washington has made. And I want to talk about how Washington still controls its own destiny. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure I go down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload a video about the NFL. Or in this case, I watched the football team. Let's get straight into today's video. So let's start with the signings. Washington obviously has made some moves. I mean, it's been it's been it's been a, a busy start to the week, considering the fact that we've had a COVID outbreak, and now with all the injuries that are happening, we have to make some signings. You remember coming into the season, we talked about how much depth this team has uh you know had come into the season at pretty much every position now that depth is getting tested and and, and it's good when your depth get tested to see how they respond but it's also bad when your depth depth is getting tested like like at this point our depth depth is getting tested like 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 starters out our depth is in then our depth goes down and now our, the depths depths comes in and that's never a pretty sight and we're running out of bodies, quite frankly. I know we like to have this mantra and this saying of next man up, but we're running out of men. We're running out of men and at key positions, too. So that prompted us to make a couple signings and waiver claims and whatnot. So to kick things off with the old friend. Washington went out and got Nate Orchard. They went out and signed Nate Orchard or put in a claim for Nate Orchard. And he would be on the active roster. Now, you guys, if you, you guys know you guys remember Nate Orchard, but if you don't, he was a former Washington, then Redskins player in 2019. I know you guys remember that play that he made against the Panthers that practically won us that game in 2019 and got Ron Rivera fired. Uh, I was really excited about Nate Orchard back then. I really thought we had something with him. I obviously didn't turn out to be much. Um, but we got Nate Orchard, man. Um we got to think, even though he is a pass rusher, um, I think he can still play a little bit of, of you know, a uh, linebacker, you know, coveraging and whatnot. And uh, you got to think, man, with, with the, the, the COVID outbreak and then the injuries at defensive end and David Mayo being the our linebacker and Khalid Hudson as a li another coveraging linebacker, um, you know, with those guys, you know, being injured slash on the COVID list, we had to go out there and make some signs. We're real thin at linebacker slash defensive end. Now, hopefully, we can obviously get Montez Sweat back this week. Um, I believe his 10 days are up. So he should be able to come back versus Philly. But, again, we don't know how he's feeling. We don't know um, anything really right now. Everything is just up in the air. And, and it's pretty dark in Washington streets, honestly, man. Um, again, this is the time where you're supposed to be getting healthy, making a playoff push. And we're going in the opposite way while still trying to make a playoff push. Um, so yeah, Washington signs Nate Orchard, and again, I, I like the signing for the circumstances we're in right now. I don't expect much from Nate Orchard, um, but I, at, le at least I know he can go in there and and, and, and make some shake and have some veteran uh, you know presence. I don't want to see Bumley Rotimi in there. No offense, but um, he's young. Let me put it that way. It's not his skills that's the problem, but it's the mat it's the it's the lack of experience is the problem for me when it comes to guys like Bumney Rotimi and William Bradley King. Um, I would much rather have Casey Toohill and uh, James Smith Williams out there, but obviously we know they're dealing with COVID. So Nate Orchard's a, a pretty good signing. I really like the signing for again the circumstances that we're in. Again, I don't um, expect much. From Nate Orchard, matter of fact, I don't know how long he'll even be here um, when these guys return. I don't know if this is just a one-week rental or whatever, um, but right now we do have Nate Orchard again. Don't expect much from him, but I do like the signing considering the fact the circumstances that we're in. Moving on to the next guy that we signed, um, or at least put in a waiver claim for, Hercules Modifa. I think I said his last name right, um, but Hercules Modifa. He's a guy that's 26 years old. He's another defensive end, and I think he played for the Minnesota Vikings. 
um, in past in the past. Um, he's another guy that's just there for depth. Another guy there for circumstance reasons. Um, another guy that I expect to make um, a lot of noise because again we should be getting some of our edge rushers back. Um, when COVID clears, and hopefully we, we can get him back for this game versus Philly because we are going to need it. Um, Jonathan Allen's another guy that obviously we know went down with COVID. Um, even though he's a defensive tackle, we're going to need everything we can get. Um, so, I, 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 again, not a bad signing uh, for the circumstances we're in, but I don't expect Hercules Modifa to come in here and, and be a difference maker, be something uh, that 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 uh, that that can just be a game record because if that was the case, he wouldn't be out there and um, on the practice squad able to get plucked off. Essentially, is what I'm saying. So <clears throat> those are it for the uh, defensive side of things. Washington did make one more signing or waiver claim, um, and that's center slash guard Jamil Davis. Um, I believe he played for the Eagles and I think Tennessee. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think he played for Tennessee. Um, we got him yesterday, uh, just another guy considering the fact that, um, our centers and guard positions have really been, you know, banged up more so the center with Chase Rulia going down, Tyler Larson going down, Wes Schweitzer going down. Now we're stuck with Keith Ishmael. Um, and we're just trying to add more depth. So just in case, knock on some wood here that he doesn't get hurt, but if he does, we can be protected and have someone that can, that's capable enough to step in there and at least you know, maintain and not allow the wheels to fall off. Now, I don't know how much we're going to maintain this week against, you know, Fletcher Cox, who's one of the best um, interior defensive linemen in the NFL. So that's pretty scary. Um, but again, um, I have faith in John Masco. Not only do I have faith in John Masco, I think we should be getting some bodies back. Um, again, I don't know the uh, the um, how West Schweitzer is right now. I think he may come back the next Dallas game. Obviously, we know Tyler Larson. Pretty much done for the season, but again, looks can be deceiving. We haven't got a, a confirmed word on his injury, but it didn't look good. He got carted off. Um, but yeah, that's that's where we're at with the signings. Um, again, just depth reasons because we're running out of depth. Our depth depth is getting tested at this point, and uh, we need bodies. We need bodies. So moving on to the last part of the video, I want to talk about with everything going out going on in Washington headquarters up at Ashburn. Relax, ladies and gentlemen. Relax. I, I feel like we're starting to panic, and rightfully so, because we're getting injured at the wrong time. This is the time where we should be making a playoff push, and we should be getting healthy, and we should start to we should start to click offense and defense. And the defense obviously has, even though they've been banged up too. And the offense is coming off of a bad game, pretty much against the uh, the Cowboys, and they're really the sole reason why we lost that game. But we're not going to talk about that anymore. But I just want to tell you guys to relax. I mean, right now we're still can we still control our own destiny because we're still in the seventh seed. Again, I don't know about you guys. I don't know how much you really care about winning in division or the sixth seed. I just want in. I don't care if it's the seven or six seed or four seed. I don't care. I just want in the dance, and we still control our own destiny. Four games left in the regular season. Two against Philly. One against New York, and another one against Dallas. I just want in. And all we have to do is win. All of those other teams behind us, don't worry about that, guys. Don't worry about oh who's on our trail, who's on our trail. Because if we win, all that just all that goes out the window. They're chasing us, so we don't need to panic. We just need to focus on us, take it game by game, and win. So I want to tell the fans just relax, ladies and gentlemen. We control our own destiny. As long as the Washington Football Team win, we're in, baby. That's all. So, again, I just want to tell you guys to relax, man. I understand the panic that's going on because you see all these injuries that's going on and us coming off of a terrible offensive performance uh, versus the Dallas Cowboys. But we're still very much in this, guys. We are. We still control our own destiny again for the 50th time. As long as we win, we're in and we control our own destiny. So, yeah, man, that's, there you have it. There's the signings, and that's the pretty much main point of the video. It's just relax, ladies and gentlemen. We still got this. I still got faith in Ron. I still got faith in this team. We can finish this season out strong and get a wild card spot. I firmly believe that. So, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about this video down below. As always, it's been Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, help to watch the football team. I'm out. Peace. Give it. Give it. Uh, of course, we want.
time that's gonna get you popped. Get you popped, uh, get you dropped. Uh, slide on the one where they get you locked on.